Welcome, welcome and welcome to the channel. My name is Chessie and you are on Chats with Tessie. And on this channel we talk about viral topics, black women's topics, relationships, trendy topics, my lifestyle and other things too. Welcome, welcome, welcome. It's 2024. Guys, I know that I have been off for a couple of weeks. I needed to take a break. I needed to chill out and enjoy my Christmas and New Year. And it was my first Christmas with Greg. And if you guys don't know who Greg is, Greg is my fiance. And I am a Nigerian woman and Greg is a Polish man. And yes, we are getting married and this is an interracial marriage. I'm very excited to have you guys on here. If you're new and you found your way here, welcome. If you're an OG, welcome. Yes, I'm here with the auntie hairstyle. And what can I say? I'm actually somebody's auntie. I am actually somebody's auntie. I'm several people's auntie. So yes, I will have the auntie hair. And I will have the auntie hair. Auntie hair. Okay. If you have a glass of water with you, bring it. If you don't, go get one. Pause the video and go get one. Get a glass of wine, a glass of grape juice, a glass of whatever you want. Come and sit down with me and let's have a discussion. And what are we going to talk about today? What are we going to talk about today? Ladies, 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 men, 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 whoever you are, we are going to talk about the fact that I am seeing black women proposing to men. Why is this happening? This is 2024. This should not be happening. I should not see this happening. I've seen skits. Now, bearing in mind, right, we all know that skits is just nonsense. Skits is rubbish. It's nonsense. Senseless. We don't care about those things. We know that, we know that people are making fake scenarios of real life issues for money we don't care we don't care but i am actually seeing this online i'm seeing this in real life this is happening women are proposing to men why 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 why, why? okay first of all you guys know i got engaged last year and yes i have lost my engagement ring it's in the house it's lost in the house so let's, let's not talk about that. Because if you talk about that, oh, no, 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 great. Let's not talk about that. My engagement ring is in the house. I'm getting a new one, hopefully very soon. But let's talk about the fact that there are stages to being proposed to. Now, as you guys know, I am going for a wedding dress fitting next month. I'm very excited. They actually just called today and confirmed that they have a slot for me. So I'm very, very excited. And we are going for our friend's wedding next month as well. And yeah, it will be the first time that Greg's ever been to a Nigerian wedding. He's never been to a Nigerian wedding before, so he's super excited. And it will be his first time, our first time going to a wedding together. So there's going to be lots of ideas for us to see. But what do we have in common with our friends? And it's actually my male friend who invited me. He proposed to his fiance. Greg proposed to me. Why am I seeing women proposing to men? Can somebody tell me what is going on? Why am I seeing black women proposing to men? This makes no sense. Okay, there is a system. There are, look, I need ladies to understand, right, that you do not need to make excuses for men. They don't need years to propose to you, okay? They know when they want to get married to you. Men know very soon, very quickly, if they want to get married to you or not. They do not need donkey years. They don't need donkey years to propose to you. Women make excuses for men all the time. Don't make excuses for them. This is 2024. If you're with a man and you've been with a man for five, six, seven years, and the man hasn't asked you to marry him, carry your wahala and go. Carry your load and go. Carry your load and go. Carry your load and go. Did you hear me? Did you hear me? Okay. I need ladies to understand that the proposal is the last step in the engagement process. The last step, not the first. Forget all this rubbish movie crap you see where the guy just pops the question out of the blue. That's, that's what? Not nonsense. That's nonsense. It's not practical. It makes no sense for a man to just ask a woman to marry her, her, him out of the blue. Most of the time, 
the proposal is the last step in a very important string of steps that happen way before the actual proposal. The, la the proposal should be the last step in the engagement process, okay? The first step is that the guy starts hinting to you that he wants to marry you. He starts hinting, he starts saying, oh, you know, I want, I want this, or I want my wife to do this. He starts doing it, and he has to do it constantly, consistently, all the time. And then, once he starts hinting to you, he comes to you and he says, let's have a discussion about marriage. And then he asks you what you think about marriage. What are your thoughts? What are your feelings on marriage? And then you're like, okay, I want to get married. I don't want to get married. And then once you have agreed, once you guys have discussed marriage and he's told you he wants to marry you, because ladies need to understand the man actually has to come and tell you he wants to marry you first. And this is, this is another thing that's really bad for women to ask men to marry them. It's bad because... You don't even know if the guy wants to marry you. He hasn't discussed it yet. He hasn't discussed any of this. And you're just asking him to marry you. So once he's hinted, the first step, he hints that he wants to marry you. The second step, he then asks you to marry. He then asks you about what you think about marriage. He discusses marriage with you as his topic. Then the third step, he needs to start taking you ring shopping. He needs to ask you what you want. He needs to consider what you want. And then he needs to start taking you ring shopping. You need to be looking for rings. Girls, please go and watch my level up video. I'm going to post it up here how I went from a spoiled GF getting really cute gifts like this, like the cute coach bangle that Greg bought me for Christmas. How I went from a spoiled GF to the ring in about a year or so and I will be getting a brand new engagement ring and I will be showing you guys that as well um and as you guys know Greg is a lovely man takes care of me provides spoils me rotten but it's important that the man proposes the reason being is that you I need ladies to understand that <laughs> you need to get this guy to spend money on the wedding you can't do that if you propose to him how are you going to get a guy to spend money on a wedding when you are the one who has pushed for this wedding? It's not what he wants per se. You haven't even asked him what he's thought of the wedding and you've pushed for it. And I see a lot of ladies do this. Years, you've been with the man for years. He doesn't want to propose to you. He doesn't want to get married to you. He hasn't mentioned anything about a wedding. He hasn't hinted anything. And you pop the question out of nowhere. How are you going to get him to pay for these things? Has he told you he wants to marry you? Has he hinted it at all? Has he discussed it with you? I need ladies to get out of this bondage and leave. If you're with a man for seven, eight years and he hasn't proposed, what are you still doing there? Carry a wahala and go. It's not that deep. You're wasting your own time. And I, I, I need men to understand this. The more you waste a woman's time, the more that there are women who, who won't stand for it. There are women who won't stand for that. And they will force you to open your mouth and make a choice. And some of these women will do this publicly. They will publicly come and ask you to marry them in public and put you right on the spot. Bearing in mind, right, that, um, you know, a lot of ladies, when they do this, they know exactly what they want. They know exactly what the outcome they want the outcome to be. And if a woman asks you as a man to marry her, most of the time she ends up doing it in public because there's that extra pressure. There's the responsibility. And bearing in mind, men are all about their image and reputation. So what will happen is you have two options. Either you say no and humiliate yourself and humiliate her in front of her family, in front of her friends, because what they normally do is they invite their family and friends when they ask you to marry them. So either you as a man, you end up saying no, embarrass yourself, embarrass her and show everyone that you've been with her for years, but you haven't ever intended on marrying her or say yes, even though you may not want to marry her and push yourself into a union that you aren't ready for. So essentially you end up agreeing to the marriage, but you don't actually want to marry the woman. And this is what will happen to men who waste women's time if you waste a woman's time for years you will be forced some women will force you to open your mouth and make a choice in front of everybody and bearing in mind right that you 
it's not the same. So the pressure from people online is not the same as actually someone actually proposing to you in person, in front of people. And then you have that extra added pressure of saying yes or no in front of everybody and everybody's opinions and everybody's looking at you at that moment and saying, what are you going to say? What are you going to do? That's a lot of pressure. Let's not discount that pressure because that's a ton of pressure on a human being, never mind a man. So... I need ladies to, black, especially black women, you do not need to ask a man to marry you. This is 2024. I need you people to get sense in Jesus' name. Get sense, seriously. Stop, stop, stop all that nonsense, right? There is a path. There is a set of steps. Number one, he needs to start hinting that he wants to marry you and he needs to do it constantly. I have been asked, I've had two guys ask me to marry them. My ex, after six months, he, he told me he wanted to marry me. Greg, started hinting that he wanted to marry me within eight to nine months. It doesn't take years. Don't let this people fool you. Don't let them fool you. It does not take years. And the hints need to be regular. So you've got hinting, marriage discussion, ring shopping, proposal. And the man needs to plan the proposal himself. He needs to plan it himself. And they can do that. Do not let them off the hook. They are able to actually function and plan a proposal for themselves. Greg planned my proposal and he did a fantastic job of it. There's a video of my proposal. I'll link it up for the ladies who haven't seen it. Now, I want ladies to understand as well that I think this whole femininity thing has become a bit extreme. It's okay for you to let the guy ask you to marry him. But also, I need you to, um, ladies, to understand that it's not always about rosy. It's not always rosy and amazing and happy. A lot of ladies are asking men to marry them. And you don't even know if this guy will stay with you if you are unwell or sick or if he'll take care of you. Why are you doing that? Why are you asking someone when you don't even know the person will be there for you? But you're asking them if they're going to spend the rest of their life with you. You can't force anybody to marry you or to want to marry you. And you can't force a guy to see the value in wanting to marry you. You don't even want a guy who doesn't see the value in marrying you. You don't want someone like that. So you can't force a guy who doesn't want to marry you to see the value in marrying you. But at the same time, there's no point you asking a guy to marry him or to marry you. If you don't even know if he's going to take care of you when you're unwell, you don't even know if he's going to be there because marriage is much more than just a ring. It's a lot more. If you guys haven't seen my ring, the ring that I lost, the ring is in the house. <laughs> it's not. But if you guys haven't seen the ring I lost, I posted it all over my, I posted it all over my shorts. I've got, let me show you guys. I've still got the diamond cleaner and everything from my engagement ring shop. I've still got the box. Ooh, the box. Let me open it. No ring. <laughs> I've still got all of that. Right. But you see why it's important that you wait for a guy to ask you to marry him, because I lost my ring. The ring's in the house. And when I find it, I'm probably going to sell it and get some Cartier or something else. But the main thing is that I lost my ring. But because Greg loves me so much and wants to marry me, he's happy to get me another one. That's another thing that ladies don't understand. When you ask a man to marry you, when you start off like that, you are going to be paying for everything. You're going to pay for your own ring. You're going to pay for your own dress. You're going to pay for the food. You're going, because why? You are the one that pushed for that. He hasn't mentioned or made any, any idea or any mention at all of wanting to join and become your husband or make any kind of union with you. The man has to put... Can we, can we stop taking responsibility away from these men? Because these men, I've told you, I've told you ladies, they will stay... As long as there is food and sex and you give them a little attention every now and then, you're taking away the work that they have to put in. Do not take away the work that they have to put in. These people have to come and tell you, I want to marry you. They have to take steps. And a lot of women are asking men to marry them when you don't even know if this guy will take care of you when you're ill. Like, okay, during, um, before, as you guys know, I spent lockdown with my beloved. <laughs> I spent lockdown, no, not lockdown, what am I talking about, not lockdown, I spent Christmas and um, New Year with Greg, right, but we actually got ill, 
both of us got ill and it wasn't easy. Like imagine two people trying to, two sick people trying to take care of each other, but we did it and we got closer. And I was thinking, yes, this is definitely the man I want to marry. But a lot of women don't understand that when you get sick, the guy leaves. It's very, very likely. And here I'm seeing black women asking black men or whoever, whatever color of men, whether it is multicolored men, they're asking men to marry them. Mm. And you don't even know if the guy's going to take care of you when you're unwell. Excuse me. Have you lost your senses? Are you all right? Are you okay? Are you sensible? Is the brainwaves flowing through your head? Are you mad? No, 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 You can't be doing any of that. Please, 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 please. This is 2024. If you are with a man that has been wasting your time, cut the man loose. You people are acting as if this man is prime rib. Cut the man loose. It's not by force. And I also need ladies to understand that men aren't stupid. Sometimes they may act dumb, but they're not stupid. They know. They know the type. They know exactly when they want to ask a woman to marry them. And I have experience. I've had two guys ask me to marry them. I know. I know what these people are like. These men know. Don't allow them to confuse you or sweet talk you with, oh, let's wait. Oh, let's see how things go. Oh, let's just give it a, a bit of time. Oh, I'm not quite sure. We need more time to think about this. Or more, these people are not dumb. Don't get me wrong. A guy may not be financially ready to marry you, but he may, he always knows if he wants to marry you or not. So don't let them get away with that. But I also need women to not do this whole asking guys to marry them thing. You don't need to do that. You need a guy to want to marry you. And you also, it needs to be a mutual thing. A lot of women don't understand why this, the, the process is important. The guy hints, then he does the marriage discussion. Then he does the ring shopping. Then he does the proposal, which is the last one. You guys need to understand that the ring shopping is also very important. It's a good bonding experience for the both of you. A lot of women, they see marriage as something that happens to them. They get proposed at. They get proposed to. The marriage just happens to them. But actually, it's super important for you to be involved in choosing your own ring. The guy needs to show that he cares about what you think He's interested in your thoughts, your feelings. He cares about what you want. One of the reasons I love Greg was because you can see on my channel, we went ring shopping for months. He cared about what I wanted for my engagement ring. He thought it was important. My thoughts and my feelings were important. And that's really important. It's a good bonding experience. A lot of men just go out and pick any old ring from somewhere and think they can propose to a woman like that and she just accept it because she's lucky enough to be proposed to. And a lot of women have that mindset. They think they're lucky to be proposed to. You aren't, it's not happening to you. You're part of the process. The guy needs to go and involve you and take you ring shopping and you need to be part of the process. So a lot of women don't understand this, right? It's a mutual thing. The marriage is happening to both of you. You're not doing each other a favor by being married. And the man isn't doing you a favor by asking you to marry you either. He's asking you to marry him because he loves you and he wants to spend the rest of his life with you. And I need women to have that mindset. You are worth somebody asking you to marry them. And you are worth someone putting in the thought and effort into including you in the whole process. Because there is a process. It's just that people aren't doing things properly. So, yes. Can we, can I stop seeing black women proposing in the name of Jesus, victory over Satan? Can I see, can I stop seeing black women proposing, please? Please. And thank you. Okay, guys, that's all I had to say today. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. And remember, when a guy wants to ask you to marry him, he needs to show you what he has. Because a man cannot ask you to marry him if he's not willing to share his assets or what he has or his financial dealings with you. It's not possible, especially all these men that want women to be staying at home. You want a woman to stay at home and then you think you can give her one to 200 pounds a week and that's it and she should give up her job. Or more, are you guys sensible? You have to share things with each other, okay? When you want to get married, you join together, which means the man has to open and honest with you. If he's not willing to be open and honest with you, how on earth can you marry him? How? 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 This is why there's no point you asking a guy to marry him. Because many of these women asking men to marry them. The man hasn't even been open with you about what he has. Let them do it.